All right, let's practice reading clocks, okay? What time does the clock show? And make sure we're using digits and a colon. A colon is the dots that are between our hours and minutes. Okay, so the first thing we need to figure out is our hour, okay? Our hour hand is between the 12 and the one, okay? The rule for the hour though, is when it's between two hands, you always say it's the earlier hour. So in this case, between the 12 and the one, 12 is earlier. So 12 is my hour, okay? Now I need to figure out my minute. And what I like to do is when I do my minute, I actually extend it closer to where it is on the clock. It makes it easier to count. Now my whole numbers here count by fives, but I don't even make it to the first one. So I'm going to count individually. One, two, three, four. So it is 1204. We can't just put 124. We kind of have to hold that tens place, and that's why we put the zero there. So 1204. 1204 is the time. Next one, okay, same thing. What is our hour? It's between eight and seven. The rule is you always go what? Forwards or back? Back. So that means our hour is seven. Okay, let's extend our minute. Okay, now I'm going to count by fives here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, because if I counted each and every tick mark, it would take way too long. So I'm up to 40 and then I'm gonna count by ones until I get to where I need to go. So 40, 41, 42, 43. So the time is seven. 43. Next clock. All right, let's do our hour. Hour hand is between 12 and 1. So I do my hour forward or earlier. Early, you always go with the earlier number. So 12. And my minute hand goes right here. I'm going to count by fives until I get here. 5, 10, 15, so I'm up to 15, and I'm going to count on until I get to there, 16, 17, 18, so my time is 12, 18, and if you're ever able to write on the clock, do it, or make a, a clock yourself as a key to give you hints, go for it, it'll help you out. Okay, what is our hour? It's between the 12 and the 1, so that means the hour is 12. Okay, now look, I can get rid of anything that doesn't have 12 as an hour. 11, 11, 9. So that means 12.51 should be my answer. Let's double check to be sure. We're going to count by fives until we get to the 10. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, and one more after that makes 51. So 1251 is the correct answer. Next, what is our hour here? It's between one and two. So we know our hour is one. Let's go down to our answer choices and cross out 12 and 12 because we know that's not the answer. So my answer is either 127 or 111. Okay, my minute hand goes to here. I'm gonna count by fives and then add on till I get to there. So I go five, 10, and one more makes 11. So my time is 111. Next, let's check this one out. What is my hour? It's between one and two. So right, it has to be one because it always goes back to that last hour. So that means I can get rid of the 12 and the 12 because those are not my hours. 
Now look, that means it's either 117 or 115. So I really want to pay attention to what is going on here, okay? My minute hand is right there. So I'm going to count by fives. Five, 10, 15. Okay, I'm at 15, 16, 17. 117 is the correct answer for the time. And that's why it was good that we marked. Okay, next one. It's between nine and 10 for the hour. So that means it has to be nine because we always make it go back. So we can get rid of that one and that one. So it's either 918 or 906. Well, my minute hand goes right here just past the one. So that would be five plus one more makes it six. So my time is 906. Because remember, we can't just go like this. We can't go 96. That's not a time. You can't see that on a clock. Remember, that zero is like holding the tens place, if you will. Next one, you're doing amazing with this. Okay, let's look at our hour hand. It's between the five and the six. Okay, so that means my hour has to be a five. Looking at my answer choices, I can get rid of the six and the four. So my time is either 5.39 or 5.02. Well, look at my minute hand. Do I even get to the five minutes? No, I go one, two. It's two minutes after five. So we would say it's 5.02. Good job. Let's do another one. Okay, careful, my hour. What is my hour? Is it nine or 10? It's nine. Good job. Okay, so I'm getting rid of the 10, the eight, and the six because those don't match the hour. This is saying then that our answer should be 9.01. Let's look at my minute hand. Oh my goodness, it goes right to that first mark after 12. So that means my minute is one. So 9.01 absolutely is correct. And let's try one more. All right, what is my hour? It's between seven and eight. We always go back, so it's seven. So I'm going to cross out the five and the eights. Now, if we answer this correctly, our answer will be 734. If not, that means we made a mistake somewhere. So I'm going to extend my minute hand so I see exactly where it goes. And I'm going to count by fives until I get to here, okay? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so I'm at 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Do I have a match? 734, I do. Way to go, telling time.